In this lecture, we are going to talk about another I/O stream, random access file. Random access file is an input stream and also a output stream. It is combined. Random access file. Java provides the random access file class to allow a file to be read and updated at the same time. So it is both a input stream and also a output stream. Random access file can access any byte in the file randomly. Random access file class is dense object and implement data input and the data output interfaces. Random access file methods. Many methods in random access file are the same as those in data input stream and the data output stream. For example, read int, read long, write double, read line, write int, and the write long can be used in the data input stream or data output stream as well as random access file strings. This voice seek Long position is a new method for random access file. Seek position I/O exception. Set the offset from the beginning of the random access file string to where the next read or write occur. So basically, you put a number here. That will be the offset from the beginning of the file, and then you will be moving the writing head or reading head to the specific location. Long get file pointer. Exception. This one is the getter method for the position of the reading head or writing head. Return the current offset in bytes from the beginning of the file to where the next read or write occurs. Random access file method. Long length throw exception. Return the length of the file. Remember that in another string we use the available method. Final void write character throw I/O exception. Write a character to the file as a two-byte Unicode with the high byte written first. Final void write characters string s throw I/O exception. Write a string to the file as a sequence of characters. Random access file constructor. We have two ways to open a random access file string. One way is to open it as a read, right? The other way is to open it as read. But be careful for this read only access because when you open for read, if the file doesn't exist, there will be an I/O exception. Let's look at the example program. Test random access file Java. At the beginning of this program, we open the im out data as a read write file, and then we set length to be zero. And then we started to write the data for 200 integers into the file, and then we get the current file length, and then we get the first number by setting the position to zero using the seek method, and then we access the second integer by using one time four as a four byte for integer length for the offset. Then we can read the second number. And then we try to read the tenth number by using nine times four. Four is the length of a integer for four byte. And then we multiply the next one, that is the eleventh number, writing in five five five. And then we append a number to the end of the file because the in out the length will move the file pointer or the read write head to the end of the file, and then we write nine 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 over there. And then we print out the new file length. After that, we try to access the eleventh element. That will be the one we wrote in five five five. And then we close the file. Let's run the program. Click and run. As you can see right here, initially. Because we wrote two hundred integer in, so that becomes four hundred byte. And the first number is zero, the second number is one, the tenth number is nine, and then the length of the file after appending the last element, it becomes eight o four byte. 
and the 11th number is 555. Let's return to the slides. So by random access, actually, we mean two things. One is that we can open the file for rewrite at the same time. The other one is we can access any byte in the file randomly. Please download those files and try out yourself. Thank you.